Hello, Newman family. Welcome back to the ministry. I hope we are doing gloriously well today. Happy Sunday, everyone. Today's word is inspired by Jeremiah 18, verse 1 to 17. And it's just simply speaking about how the Lord says uh, that he wants to mold us like the potter mold, molds the um, clay. Amen. And the Lord wants to just, you know, um, uh, create us in a way, you know, we are already creative, but then continue to um, turn us and shape us for his glory, okay? And he and he also continues to speak about um, we separating ourselves from those things that don't glorify him. If you if you read all the way down towards verse 17, you see that he's speaking about us uh, being scattered away from those uh, things and places or people that do not glorify him. And, and the Lord is just encouraging you to separate yourselves from those things. And even as I spend time to meditate upon these words, um, the word relationship came back to me again today. And I feel the Lord is speaking about people that have entangled themselves in relationships and with people that um, are not helping you grow spiritually. Okay, And this is happening more now than uh, before. And the Lord is saying to you right now, uh, based on... Um, what I received from Jeremiah 18, God is saying to you right now that he wants you to uh, separate yourself from those people. You know, the Holy Spirit will be giving you the conviction even right now about what he's speaking about. Um, many of you are already in some kind of uh, like a, a marital covenant. And, you know, this time is for you to actually... Uh, spend time with the Lord and and talk to the Lord because I've gotten some emails about some people that have been married for some time and they're complaining about their husbands or their wives and how they've been treated and and you're confused and you don't know what to do the Lord wants you to use this time to just seek him okay don't don't seek the face of other people or family or friends like just separate yourself um, not physically, if you're in a marriage, not physically, but then separate yourself mentally, yeah? Because the Lord really wants you to be in a union that is going to glorify Him. If your marriage is not glorifying God, or your relationship is not glorifying God in any way, it's time for you to separate, do a mental separation, because you want to do a, a reassessment of, of your life, um, an examination of your spiritual growth, of where you are, to see if your life is glorifying God at all. So if you're in a relationship or you're, a, um, you're, uh, you're in a marriage and you're looking at your life that this is, this is definitely not where I want to be. Like I'm not growing spiritually and what I'm in is not glorifying God. Okay, just take time out um, to, to talk to the Lord about it. When I um, was going through a separation with, with my spouse back in 2018, um, I knew that what I was in was not glorifying God. So I so I spent time with the Lord and I had um, these three words, leave it alone, leave it alone. So I had to obey the Lord because we're married. We're married, but I had to obey the Lord and separate myself from my spouse mentally first, okay? And then physically because the Lord encouraged me to leave it alone. So the Lord is, you know, wanting you to just separate yourself because many of you, uh, many of you have uh, probably made those relationships and marriages a God. And God doesn't want that. He wants to be the only God in your life that you are serving, that you are worshiping. Amen. So um, this is a word of encouragement. It's also a word of warning. It's a very, very serious warning. Don't make any relationship or any marriage a God. Amen. Just know know that the lord loves you and that he wants the best for you and he just wants you to allow him to mold you to shape you into what he intended uh for you to be so that your your whole life can glorify him hallelujah praise god so please take this word very very seriously and uh turn okay god is saying for you to turn because he has great plans for you amen Praise the Lord. So Jeremiah 18, 1, 17 is the word. And that's your homework. That's your assignment. So go and uh, meditate upon those words. And I pray that the Lord will grant you grace. Let's pray, everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this word. I pray, Lord God, that even today, oh, oh Lord, that your people will be blessed, Lord, as they have received this word, Heavenly Father. Grant them the grace to do what you've called them to do in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I pray that for every listener here right now, oh God, that their lives will glorify you, oh Lord. The ones that are having 
difficulties in their marriage or relationships lord grant them the grace oh lord grant them the grace heavenly father oh lord to do what you are asking of them to do to separate themselves from those false gods from those places or people or things that they should not be a part of in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Thank you, Lord. We, play, we praise your name in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So you all, that's the word. Uh, be blessed. And I'll see you all in the next one. If you're new, please subscribe and join him on God Food Church. And also, I've got a special announcement to make as well. From January 2022, we are going to be having um, a fixed uh, service uh, on Sundays. And I'm going to give more information about that. So it's going to be me and Minister Tim, my husband, are going to be coming um, we're going to be, you know, I'm changing um, uh, every every Sunday. So we're going to come and we want to just take things much more seriously now. And um, yeah, of course, it's been challenging for the longest time having to raise our kids together, having, you know, a ministry at home online and everything. But the Lord will give us the grace and the strength. So you all pray for us because we're always praying for you all. And we'll see you all very, very soon. The Lord bless you all. Take care.